In this lecture, we will cover test levels. Here we will cover overview of test level, which we learned in foundation level syllabus. Then we will see how test levels are implemented in a sequential model and agile model. Then we will cover types of testing done in the agile model, where we will cover unit testing, feature acceptance testing, regression testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. Let's start with the definition. What are test levels? Test levels are groups of test activities that are organized and managed together. Now let's try to figure out where test levels come in in the larger picture. Here is the test process. This test process will have different test levels, and the test levels will have different test activities inside them, which are organized and managed together to achieve the objective. Now, there is a point you need to remember. For every test level, a suitable test environment is required. Component testing and system testing require two different test environments. With that being said, let's take a look at the different test levels. The first is component testing. As soon as our code is ready, we'll perform the component testing. Once that is done, the next level of testing is integration testing. Here you'll be able to see how two components or more interact with each other. Next, you will carry out the system testing, after which you will do the acceptance testing. Now, where each type of testing is conducted. The first two component and integration testing is carried out in the developer's lab setup. So, wherever the develop is, they can perform these tests. But for the next two, system testing and acceptance testing, you require a test environment. This can be a real or simulated environment suited to the needs of the tests. This is what we covered at the foundation level. But the way we define test level in sequential lifecycle models and iterative models is different. In sequential lifecycle models, the test levels are often defined such that the exit criteria of one level are part of the entry criteria for the next level. But in agile models, this rule does not apply. Test levels overlap. Let's see more about the Agile model here. In Agile model requirement specification, design specification, and development activities may overlap with test levels. In some Agile life cycles, overlap occurs because changes to requirements, design, and code can happen at any point in an iteration. Scrum, in theory, does not allow changes to the user's stories after iteration planning, but in practice, such changes sometimes occur. Let's see how user story is tested in the Agile model. During an iteration, any given user story will typically progress sequentially through the following test activities. First is unit testing, which is typically done by the developer. Then comes feature acceptance testing, which is broken into two activities. Number one, feature verification testing, and two, feature validation testing. Feature verification testing is often automated. It may be done by developers or testers, and involves testing against the user story's acceptance criteria. Feature validation is usually manual testing that can involve developer, tester, and business stakeholder working collaboratively to determine whether the feature is fit for use and to improve the visibility of the progress and to receive real feedback from the business stakeholders. So the test activities are unit testing, and feature acceptance testing, where feature acceptance testing is further divided into feature verification testing and feature validation testing. Let's move to the next type of testing, regression testing. By now, we already know that regression testing is an important aspect of the Agile model. Regression testing involves rerunning the automated unit tests and feature verification tests from the current iteration and previous iterations. 
usually via a continuous integration framework. Regression testing is done in addition to unit testing and feature acceptance testing. Next is system testing level. In some Agile projects, there may be a system test level which starts once the first user story is ready for such testing. This can involve executing functional tests as well as non-functional tests for performance, reliability, usability, and other relevant test types. Point to remember here is, system testing is done once the user story is ready. The last one is acceptance testing. This concept is covered in foundation level syllabus, and here the definitions are not important. But if you want to know more about acceptance testing, a PDF is attached with this video so you can refer back to it. From the exam point of view, what you need to know is, Agile teams can employ various forms of acceptance testing. For example, internal alpha tests and external beta tests, user acceptance tests, operational acceptance tests, regulatory acceptance tests, and contract acceptance tests. These acceptances can be done either at the close of each iteration, after the completion of each iteration, or after a series of iterations. From an exam point of view, this point is very important. In this lecture, we covered overview of test level which we learned in foundation level syllabus. Then we will see how test levels are implemented in a sequential model and agile model. Then we will cover types of testing done in the agile model, where we will cover unit testing, feature acceptance testing, regression testing, system testing, and acceptance testing.